Hey y'all, today I'm going to show you how to create a font using your own handwriting. Let's get into it. The first thing we're going to do is go to the website calligraphar.com and create an account. I used the free account option when I created my account. Just enter your email address and create a password and it'll send you an email to verify your email address and then you'll be able to start using the website. Now you want to select create template. From here you can choose the characters you want to include. I'm going to use minimal English, minimal numbers, and minimal punctuation. So with using the free version there's a limit on characters that you can use. You can only have 75 for your font. So I'm going to delete some until I reach the 75. Now you're going to select download template. From here you can rename the file and choose the format that you want to use. I'm going to select PNG and you have the option with the two boxes to leave them checked or uncheck them. The first box will give you lines in the box to help you write on to keep your letters straight. The second box will add letters for you to trace. If you don't want this option, make sure you leave this box unchecked. I'm going to keep the characters in the background for my boxes because I'm going to use that to gauge the size of my letters. I'm not going to trace the letters exactly how they have them printed out, but I want that as a gauge to make sure that I'm making my letters the right size. So from here, you want to make sure you select download, then select the zip file and download the hyperlink. In Safari, the downloads will show up in the upper right hand corner with the download icon which is a small circle with a down pointing arrow. When you select the file, it will take you to the file folder on your iPad and you can unzip the file from there. Open the folder and from here you can export the file to any note taking app that you are using or you can use the app Procreate. I'm gonna export the file to GoodNotes. Import as new document and make sure that you export both pages into GoodNotes or whatever app that you're using to do your letters in. When I get the pop-up in GoodNotes for the second page, I'm going to select Import to Current Document. This way, the second page will be behind the first page. Just make sure that After is selected and then Import to Current Document. Now you want to add each character to the box on the template. But before you start, make sure you choose your pen color and adjust your pen settings to your desired pen thickness. Once you're done, export both pages as images and save them to the photos on your iPad. Now go back to the calligraphar.com website and upload both images from your photos on your iPad to the website. Select my font and then upload template. Then select the choose file option and upload both images to this section. Make sure that you've uploaded both images before you upload the template. In this pop-up box, you can check and make sure that all the characters have been uploaded for your font. Once you've looked over all your characters, now you want to select add characters to your font at the bottom of the pop-up box. From here, select bill font. 
In this pop-up box, you can give your font a name. And once you've named your font, then select Build. This next pop-up box gives you a preview of what your font is going to look like. And from here, you can download the TTF and the OTF files. Once you've downloaded both files, we are now going to go to the app iFont. If you don't have the app iFont already downloaded on your iPad, you can get the app from the App Store. Once you've opened the app iFont, you want to select the page with the green plus sign at above imported fonts. This will open the file and once you open the file, you want to search for your fonts that you've recently downloaded. Once you have the font selected, select open in the top right corner and you should see the fonts appear in your iFont app. From here, you're going to select install beside the font. In this first pop-up, you want to select allow. Select close. And now you want to follow the prompt to open your settings. From the left hand side, you want to select profile downloaded and then in the pop up, you want to select the install at the top right. Now enter your passcode and then in the next pop up, you're going to select the install option twice. Now your font is installed on your iPad. I'm going to open the GoodNotes app and show you how to search and pull up your font that you just installed. So once you have the GoodNotes app open, I'm going to use the text tool. And when it pops up for the font in the search bar, I'm going to enter the name for the font that we just created. Once you select the name of your font, you should be good to go to use the font. Now, one thing that I want to remind you of that I didn't do and I left it on here so you could see is once you've used the font, if you click out of that box, it'll revert back to the previous font that you had selected. In order for the font to stay on your font that you've created, once you've selected the font, you have to go back to the text toolbox and set it as your default text. And that applies to any font that you use. If you want to continue to use it without it reverting back, remember to set it as your default text. Alright y'all, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel so you get notifications when I upload new videos. And alright y'all, till next time.